Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. I am Anna and this is Astro Lady Tarot. I talk about tarot and all things related. And today I have something very cheeky for you. It's scary real tarot client stories. And of course, no disrespect here, I have a big smile on my face, a smile in my heart, and I'm just here to, um, well, kind of spill the tea, honestly, a little bit. Let's just do that for a little bit. See what happens in the comments section. <laughs> because after all, it's spooky season and yeah, I feel like sharing these hilarious stories with you. <laughs> Check out my cute new mugs. Oh yeah, I'm getting all cozy over here. This is chocolate tea, which I really only like in autumn or winter, but you know what I mean, the colder months. So we are diving into all tarot readers' worst nightmares. <laughs> I'm a professional tarot reader. Don't think that when you come into my space or my place of work or when we have a reading together, I'm going to share with the whole world what happened. Obviously not. It's a private thing. But these things uh, obviously won't name anybody. And honestly, it's funny. It's also that I really think it's helpful for tarot readers, but then also tarot clients alike to hear these stories so that we're more prepared and maybe you know then what to do, how to handle the situation. Basically, these are tips for tarot readers. So let's start with the first one. Okay, I had this client, very sweet, very nice lady. She took a very long time getting ready to sit down in her chair, take off her coat. It was in the store I do readings at. You know, she was polishing her glasses. Um, is that how you call it? And she absolutely, which why not? I kind of appreciated it, wanted to pay beforehand. Now, she didn't have cash. Please continue using cash, by the way. It's our privacy and freedom, all right? <laughs> But she wanted to use this app that we have, kind of like cash app, but the Dutch version. Uh, that's how I do quick, easy, those small payments at the store. Now, her phone really didn't cooperate. And really in a 15 minute reading, it took us a long time, right? It took us a few minutes to get all of this done. Well, finally, it's all paid in advance. It took really long, but here we go. Finally, ready to do the reading. She got comfortable. She looked at me and she said, okay, I want you to read my aura. <laughs> and <laughs> I was there <laughs> with tarot signs everywhere, with my tarot cards fanned out already, ready to shuffle them for her. There was so much laughing in my head, but she seemed so sweet, you know what I mean? And after all that crap, I really d didn't want to just tell her, I don't do aura readings, I'm a tarot reader, hello. No, obviously I wouldn't have that attitude. <laughs> I didn't think it would be very efficient or smart, or even, you know, I feel like I would almost even insult her in a way if I just said, well, that's not what I do, here's your money back, to go through all that and wasted time, wasted money, wasted both our time. So instead of disappointing her, I said, all right, let's do a reading and let me use my tarot cards to see what's up. I started shuffling, she got her tarot reading. <laughs> And you know, she was very invested. I think she appreciated it. It was not what she had expected, but obviously she was not what I expected either. And well, she got her reading. I think she came out of it a little surprised, obviously, but wiser still. And well, there you go. That was my first funny, spooky, scary tarot client story. Uh, I'm telling you, she was so cute. She was so ready for her aura reading. Because of course at that store, there are different types of readers. There's palm reading, there's pendulum stuff, there are runes, aura reader, readers as well. Some people use the photos, you know, there's a lot of different stuff. And of course tarot is kind of 
<laughs> iconic. And so people love that stuff. It was just so funny to me. And it could have been a nightmare moment, you know, but it was funny, thankfully, um, that, well, just don't assume that a spiritual reader can do anything that you ask them to. Because I read cards and even though there's some strong intuition there and I take notice of those moments, I still don't consider myself a psychic, for instance, or an empath or any of those types of terms, you know what I mean? Even though plenty of tarot clients, both face-to-face -face and online, they are absolutely persistent. They tell me, no, you have a certain gift. You know what you're talking about. You don't get that out of cards. And I say, thank you, really, it's very nice to hear. That means that the reading resonated and it felt like a good one. But yeah, they can be very, very persistent. Um, last time I had this lovely girl. She was absolutely convinced that I had a gift. And she kept asking me, where did you get this message? How is this even possible? She couldn't fathom it. And I kept telling her, well, look, you have the Six of Coins here and the Three of Swords and then the Queen of Wands. <laughs> it, from the cards. I got it from the cards. It makes it made sense what's happening there. Uh, but no, no, that, that was not enough of an explanation. Again, very sweet. When it comes to payment, I have a story. This happened twice in the same month. And I don't know, people are very enthusiastic. Tarot is a popular tool. I love it, obviously, but it's a DM thing. Somebody contacting me through Instagram for a reading and then not wanting to pay beforehand. Our online reading appointment only stands after payment has been done. Otherwise, how am I going to trace you? Let me know, other professional tarot readers. Is this how you do it? Or do you let them pay afterwards? Do you just trust the person? I've noticed that this is pretty much my only rule. And when people refuse to pay for one reason or another, it's just, I don't do the reading. I need to protect myself as a small business. Of course, face to face at the store, I let people kind of choose if they pay beforehand or afterwards, but everybody does. Online, I don't know you. It's nothing personal, it's business. And of course the tarot reading, it's, it is a very personal and private, uh, interaction that I really do enjoy. I love, as I say, solving the puzzle that's there in tarot format on the table. Uh, you picked out the pieces and I solve it for you. Or we solve it together, obviously. But yeah, no, the appointment online only confirmed after paid. And then if you no longer want to have a reading with me, if this is a deal breaker, that's okay. Okay, then also I have the typical Instagram DM or comment section also on YouTube, which isn't malevolent, absolutely not. It's not bad. It's just, I'm really trying to convey here that this is a business, this is a work. And yes, it's also a passion, but realize that I don't have an infinite amount of time or energy and in order to do the work that I do and do it well, because I want to do it well, I cannot answer, again, asking for other readers to confirm this for me in the comment section or to just, you don't have to confirm, you don't have to agree. Tell me how you handle this or if you handle this at all. I do not do free tarot readings unless your friend I already know, and we just hang out and I start start shuffling a deck as we're talking because I like shuffling. <laughs> and yeah, we just kind of do the reading, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of this, hi, I picked seven cards and then name seven cards. What do these mean? I mean, even if you don't have a spread, what's the context? Did you ask a question? <laughs> did you, or or did you just, ask, tell me what I need to know now. I don't, I don't know what these seven cards mean. I know what they mean. You see, basically I'm not going to answer that for you. <laughs> then there's that famous request. This is in DMs. Hey, what's up? Want to throw me a card? 
honestly, again, I know this is very friendly, but no. <laughs> Life is busy, all right? And I, I think I kind of like it busy. When I do free tarot readings, because that actually does happen, it's during a live stream and I'm in the mood and I feel like doing that. And I have time and energy for doing that, more importantly. And also, yeah, I really do like the interaction. But I hope I'm explaining this well. The way to contact me is for business. It's all underneath uh, any YouTube video, I think, at this point. But when it comes to these types of questions, your best bet is the comment section. Don't DM me. I really don't want to sound like I'm the scary gal over here, even though, well, maybe I am a little, I'm a little scary. Maybe I'm a little scary. Actually, no, I'm really not scary. Or am I? No, I'm not trying to come off as a bad person here who only cares about business. Obviously not. Otherwise, I wouldn't be this deep into the tarot, right? Hopefully, that's a good reason. I'm rambling. The thing is, I really do care about this stuff. I just, again, it comes down to time, energy. Oh my gosh, so the last one was actually a bit of a nightmare moment, or it could have been, because trigger warning. You have to realize whether you're on this side of the table as the tarot reader, or on that side of the table as the client, this is, when we're in a reading space, this is my place of work, of work. Now, I had this woman sitting in front of me. She was expressing to me that she had a gift, right? She could really sense people or energies around people. And as I was doing the reading for her, I was helping her, she was reading me. I didn't know that. I was telling her what her card said, and she seemed to, you know, agree, it's all good, helpful. But then out of nowhere, she asked me if I had a kid. And I was quick to answer, nope, I don't have kids. Her next question was, miscarriage then? Oh, honey, look, I really don't want to judge you over this one extremely awkward and misplaced and very wrong time, wrong place question. Obviously also we don't know each other, but that just, you know, don't do that. Don't do that. What if I had had something like that happen to me and I, for instance, had these really terrible feelings about it? Do you know what I mean? What's the reason here? Why do that? I'm in my place of work. Do you want me to start crying? Do you want me to get angry? I think both of those know. I think she just spilled out her very inappropriate question and didn't even realize that it was, it could have been hurtful or she could have gotten in trouble. And well, I'm thankful to say that she was very wrong, but um, you know, what? again, what is the reason behind asking a question like that, even if you're right? What do you hope to accomplish? A compliment from me that you're right? Maybe I am judging her a little bit. A little bit. No, okay. It's fine. Everybody has these weird, awkward moments in life. I'm just sharing it here because hopefully this is still, you know, not just an entertaining video, also helpful video for tarot clients or tarot readers, you know, be prepared for the crazy stuff. There's probably way crazier stuff that has happened to you or that I'm forgetting. But yeah, this is a special field of work. It's spiritual. We're talking feelings. We're talking shadow. We're talking problem solving kind of thing and giving comfort, giving space, all of that. So still that doesn't take away that it's a professional setting. Even if somebody doesn't charge for readings, don't do this. Don't do this to people <laughs> while they're at work. Just a tip from me to you. Okay, folks, this was my scary real tarot client video. I want 
everybody out there, if you're ready, if you're up for it, to spill the tea, have it be a soaking wet Earl Grey comment section in the comments underneath this video so that we can all kind of, yeah, enjoy the horror and hopefully see the lighthearted fun aspect of just the really the wackiness out there the craziness that finds us in this field of work obviously very thankful for each and every client i get to meet but yeah there are some funny stories obviously don't share or don't share too much about their private reading, I would say, but I would love to be just a little bit shocked. That's that that's fun. So happy Halloween. Enjoy Son. And, <laughs> and yes, I am going to do this to you. Don't leave yet. All right. Leave your comment in the comment section. I am gonna be there. I'm gonna be reading every single one and reacting. And after that, stick around because I'm gonna link in the screen a video that you're gonna like as well. Thank you everybody for being here. I will see you all next week. Bye.